and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. Four countries formalize ocean highway in the Galapagos Islands. The ceremonial signing of the decree took place in the Galapagos Islands, with the presence of Ivan Duque, President of Colombia, and the foreign ministers of both Panama and Costa Rica. Former United States President, Bill Clinton, witnessed the signing. Last Friday, Ecuadorian President Guillermo Lasso signed the decree to officially create the new Galapagos Marine Reserve, called Hermandad or Brotherhood. The reserve expands the total protected marine area in the archipelago by 45%, from 133,000 kilometers to 51,351 square miles, to 193,000 kilometers to 74,517 square miles, two and a half times the size of the state of Maryland. The ceremonial signing of the decree took place in the Galapagos Islands, with the presence of Ivan Duque, President of Colombia, and the foreign ministers of both Panama and Costa Rica. Former United States President, Bill Clinton, witnessed the signing. Various other dignitaries from the U.S. and Ecuador, as well as key Galapagos institutions, were also present, including renowned marine biologist and conservationist Dr. Sylvia Earle. There are places that have made a mark on the history of humanity and today we have the honor of being in one of those places. These islands that welcome us have taught us many things about ourselves. So, instead of acting as the absolute masters of these lands and seas, shouldn't we act as their protectors, stated President Lasso. It's no coincidence the new reserve extends to the northeast, since the objective is to create an ocean highway connection with Costa Rica's Cocos Islands, a migratory route used by millions of sea turtles, whales, sharks and rays, thereby joining two marine UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Following their declarations at COP26 in Glasgow late last year, Ecuador, Colombia, Panama and Costa Rica have all committed to working together to create a huge eastern tropical Pacific marine corridor between their countries. The decree signed on Friday undoubtedly safeguards the life-affirming wildlife experiences our guests appreciate in the Galapagos. They will enjoy and cherish the same marine natural encounters, whether through coastal explorations with dinghies, kayaks, stand-up paddle boards or glass-bottom boats, snorkeling or scuba diving, for decades to come. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group. Or you can read us, of course in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.